relationship? Um, yeah, I met him about a few months ago, and I met him on Instagram. Um, it was more like he had something on there. I liked his post. He went and liked several of my pictures, and I was like, oh, okay. And then he DM'd me and sent me a stuff, and then we was on it. We was on Instagram for a while before, you know what I'm saying? We actually exchanged numbers and things like that. When I say a while, it's not like a long time, but we was on there for like, I don't know, like maybe three or four days before he actually, you know what I'm saying, exchanged numbers. But it was on Instagram, it was online, on social media. Okay, so how long have you been with him? Um, we have been together for, let me see, this is been like, so about three months now. So it's been like three months. So when you say together, you mean together, together? I mean, we were dating or what you want to call it for about three months. So, I mean, I thought we both said that we was, you know, together. And whether there was somebody else involved with him, when you're dealing with people that don't tell the truth, you don't know. You know what I'm saying? Well, that's true. That's yeah. true. It could have been because I asked him all the time, hey, is this somebody else? No, no, it's you. I don't got time for women. Oofy woof. And I'm like, okay, cool. You know what I'm saying? I always want to check and make sure that I ask and stuff because I don't never want to be dating with somebody if they got somebody else. I'm always asking questions and he used to get so mad at me. Like, why do you keep asking that? I'm like, because your videos have like a pink coffee maker in the background and you seem to be like acting weird when you in certain areas in Orange County where it seems like you are talking to me like I'm your homeboy when you're there. And that sounds weird to me. Like, you could. See, that's why I always try to tell people, man, look, man, it's best to tell that female what it is. You understand me? Because at the end of the day, bro, it's either accepted or rejected. We too grown out here to be playing, you know, this back and forth game. You see, First of all, when, a, when once you tell a woman what it is, there's no more room for her to even ask any more questions. You see what I'm saying? But I heard constantly, you know what I'm saying, climbing down this nigga back, asking all these questions, what's that in the background, and doing all them interviews and shit. That means she don't respect what he say. You see what I'm saying? So obviously, nigga, she see through limo tent, nigga, she reading between the lines, and you not keeping it thorough with her. That's why he was having these hard problems with this chick, kitty cat. Anyway, uh, <laughs> by the way, uh, y'all go check out Hot Kitty Cat Instagram page at Hot Kitty Cat. Uh, I guess she's an artist, a rapper, doing her thing, you know what I'm saying, putting it down for C-A-L-A. And uh, we gonna take it right there, gang. Let's go. Talking certain times, I'm like, um... This is weird. So I, I ask questions. So you said a pink coffee maker? Yeah, there's some YouTube videos that um, <laughs> all my text messages, I have receipts on everything because I love people to question me on stuff. I have receipts. To, anything that I tell you, I have receipts behind it. Because I asked him about the uh, pink coffee maker. He blew up on me, went crazy on me, told me. Like, it's just a response to that. Like, why are you going off on a woman like that? Especially somebody that's, like, helping your ass out. Like, you running out of gas and stuff, and I'm being respectful. Uh -huh. Wait, so he blew up on you when you asked him about a pink coffee maker, but this the same dude that told you he don't have time for women. Right. He's like, oh, I don't got no time for no woman. And, you know, you're the only woman I be around like that. I don't be around women like that. You know, I be taking care of my business and this and that. And I was like, okay, well, you don't have a place of your own. So who's can compliment pink stuff that's on the cabinet where you're at, where you're shooting videos at? Oh, that's just the same damn Airbnb. I'm like, excuse me? Man, come on, man. That's why I say, man, a lot of these dudes on the internet, man, they put paint where it ain't, bro. You smell what I'm selling? It, at no point in time should a man be interrogated like that. You feel me? I, 600 don't look like he man enough to keep it real. You know what I'm saying? That's exactly what this shit looking like. Let's go. And he's like, oh, let's shoot this content or whatever. But no, not not like that. Okay, so wait. Hey, Lenny, real quick. Lenny, real quick. Could you... Did you read that comment? That's a good question, and then get back to your questions. Okay, so do you know 600 was living uh, with his... White? White girlfriend? Oh, white girlfriend Sydney for three years, and that her house was all the pink stuff. LOL, I, I know 600 about that. I asked him what I... Uh-oh. Man down, Cole 10. They got the white girl. Oh, nigga, they found the white girl. Hey, hey, Lovejoy, what, 
Hey, 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 catch it though. How you gonna fight that? I, my nigga, we already, already said your whole channel was predicated off of trying to expose Big U. You see what I'm saying? That was your only lifeline. You see what I'm saying? Now this young hot kitty cat. Man, <laughs> the name, hot kitty cat. <laughs> bro, it, if you could pull this off and maintain your status, bro, I will applaud you. Now, because the six, the, the big U600 little exposed thing is getting low. You see what I'm saying? The content that you drop in is, is you know what I'm saying? You know you had a wave, bro. Crip Mac, you know what I'm saying, really put you on the forefront and gave you an alley-oop just to get in the game, bro. You see what I'm saying? You didn't really establish your name on the content space on your own. But, you know what I'm saying, you was able to maneuver. You made some moves. You see what I'm saying? This chick been around you three months, bro. See what I'm saying? And, and listen, and first of all, hey, real niggas ain't just, just listening what no bra say. Unless she could come with some receipts, bro, then a nigga might be like, okay, she on her shit. You see what I'm saying? But, nigga, not that they got kitty cat. They found kitty cat and they found the white girl, Sydney. Bro, what, man, don't, don't let them find out about your kids, bro. They find out about your kids, bro, it's over. <laughs> Let's go. Megan, if you had anybody else, he said he don't have nobody else. And he was telling me, yelling at me, telling me that pink stuff in the background is, um, he, he told me that that's from an Airbnb. And I would call him certain times, and he would pick up, even when it sounded like it was weird. He would just try to make it look like he was with the homie. But I started picking up that he was full of shit, because I'm like, it's obvious that you're, some weird shit is going on at certain points. And that's when I was just like... When you got the bitch talking about you trying to be the new Suge Knight? Oh, uh, man, yeah, you... Yeah, you cupcaking with the bitch, bro. Not even like, not like that, kitty. You know, I don't know you, but excuse me. <laughs> nigga, ah, oh, come on, man. She Obviously, nigga, she, she straight through you, bro. You see what I'm saying? Ain't no nigga hard 24-7. There's gonna be times, nigga, you wanna vibe with your bitch and all that shit. But nigga, come on, man. It's some shit you keep to yourself, bro. I don't care how you cut that shit, nigga. Like, nigga... Every man is go through stress and depress every motherfucking day. But, nigga, I'd be damned if I motherfucking sit back, nigga, and tell my bitch or any bitch any motherfucking thing all day fucking long. I don't even like talking all the time. You know what I'm saying? So, clearly, you over here telling this bitch too much shit, nigga. Shit, be a fucking man, nigga. Let the bitch talk. <laughs> you telling this bitch the wrong shit, bro. Like, Nigga, your gangster court already been revoked, bro. You see what I'm saying? And you just making it even worse because, nigga, she's serving your papers like bought up homework, bro. Let's go. Bro, that is weird because um, we've seen other content. Like, we've seen him to his car <laughs> so the bitch trying to make sure you safe oh no cuz hey man say man listen bro that man listen uh nigga it ain't no way in hell nigga a woman should be sitting up here let me walk you to your car and like come on cuz like <laughs> this bitch the pink panther <laughs> detective kitty cat <laughs> yeah she looking for some dirt nigga let's go Not the Toyota Pri hey, I ain't even gonna lie, cause like for a sidecar like to drive from Vegas to LA, I would go get in the Prius cause that shit electric. But come on, nigga, what happened to that Tesla? <laughs> come on, gang. Come on. And, and, and listen, I know she ain't lying because I remember nigga, you was driving in the Prius, bro. We it's video footage of you sliding in the Prius, bro. It's listen, man. If a nigga don't got it like that, bro, a nigga don't got it like that. Hell, nigga, shit. It ain't sunny outside for me every day. 
I speak on that shit all the fucking time. You know why I say, nigga, tell your truth before somebody else tell it for you. That's the realest shit I could tell anybody that's watching this channel, nigga. Tell your truth before anybody could watch it, tell it for you. You see what I'm saying, nigga? Look at this broad, man. Little kitty cat out here, nigga, exposing you, nigga. It's looking bad. And, and they go eat this shit up, though. Don't get it twisted. Oh, no, nah, nigga. Nigga, what? They go eat through this. You see what I'm saying, nigga? All them big you stories is dying down, bro. What else you got, nigga? Soon, whack cut you off. 